In this video, we'll be going over custom keyboard shortcuts. Motive Wave provides a number of convenient ways to do common tasks quicker, so let's explore some of these options. The first option is the menu shortcut keys. You'll notice that some of the menu items in the Motive Wave menu system has a key combination listed to the right of the menu item, and by pressing this key combination, you can then access that specific functionality. This makes it a lot easier and quicker to access than using the mouse. So let's take a look at the tool drop-down. You'll notice here for the tool drop-down specifically, if you're on a PC, all the keyboard combinations start with Control shift and on the Mac, it's Command-Shift, and usually followed by the first letter of that specific tool. So in this case, we have Command-Shift and the letter T for text, Command-Shift-L for the line tool. So if I were to click on Command-Shift-L on the Mac, I now get the line tool. Motowave also allows us to create custom keyboard shortcuts, and we can do this via the Configure, Preferences, we click on General in the first row, and then select Keyboard in the second row. And here you'll notice that we have Use Defaults automatically selected. And what that means is that Motive Wave has a predefined set of shortcuts that are defined for certain actions. And we can change these predefined shortcuts by unchecking Use Defaults, selecting the specific action, double-clicking, and then pressing down on the new keyboard shortcut that you would like to use. So let's take a look at some of the predefined shortcuts here. We can list them by category, so let's click on Category. You'll notice here the first category is Actions, and here some of the most commonly used actions are listed. From Actions, we can see that some of them have predefined keyboard shortcuts. We then, from Actions, move on to Alerts. And at the moment, there are no predefined keyboard shortcuts for Alerts here, so we are free to select whatever we feel would make it easier for us. We have Charting. We also have Elliott Wave Specific Shortcuts, Formatting Shortcuts, other such as Next Page, Previous Page, Next tab and previous tab. Again, we're free to assign keyboard shortcuts there as required. Ratios, replay mode, studies, tools. And then, of course, we have the trade category, which allows us to assign keyboard shortcuts to certain trade actions. Some of the predefined ones there are quantity related and I'll show you that in a second. So let's change, let's take a look at one here first. So let's just go back to use defaults, click OK. Um, now the letter B is a shortcut for changing the bar type here. You'll notice the toolbar. Right now it's selected the candlestick. So if we click on B, you'll notice now that it's changing. Now, if we're not happy with having B there, for instance, we can go over to Configure, Preferences, Keyboard, Uncheck Defaults. Let's take a look for B. Now, you may find it faster to sort by shortcut, in which case you click on the Shortcut column. And let's scroll down until we see some of the shortcuts. So we're looking for B. Here's B. Next bar type. So if we double click on there, and let's say I wanted to use instead of B, let's say I wanted to use on the Mac Command Shift B instead. So I press the keys down. The key combination now shows up. We click OK. And if it's assigned somewhere else, it will tell us. So we need to pick something else. So what if we did? Control Alt B. Okay, let's click Apply. Let's click OK. And now if I do Control Alt B, you'll notice it's replaced the B key. Okay, so let's go back. 
Let's just try another one. Let's go over to, let's go by category. Let's go over to maybe one that's already pre-assigned. Here, we have shift right arrow key for next bar size. So let's give that a try. So shift next bar size. And you'll notice now that the bar size is changing. So if we go shift left key, left arrow key, that goes the other way. Okay, so let's go back to daily and let's take a look at what else we have available. So there's quite a bit here. Let's go back to shortcut. Let's just try one more here. Let's try maybe some trade related ones. Um, let's see. Okay, quantities. So we have the shortcuts one to nine defined here for quantities. Let's pull up the trade panel. And now the quantities here, keep, keep an eye on here. So if I click on two, you'll notice it's changing, 30K. If I press on four, 50, if I press on five. So I have some predefined keys there to change quantities to make it even easier. Let's go back. And under keyboard, we also have custom orders here. And what that allows you to do is if you click on plus, you can, for example, let's say I wanted a shortcut for buy market at, let's say, 10 quantities. And let's enter keyboard shortcut here. Let's try Command Alt M. We'll click OK. And the quantity, I want to change this to 10. Let me do that. Click OK, click Apply, and then I click OK. Now if I do Command Shift, now if I do Command Alt M, it tries to place an order for a quantity of 10. In this case, my broker is not allowing it, but if you could take a look here, the order the keyboard shortcut did work in placing the order. Okay, so that's it for custom keyboard shortcuts, and we'll see you in the next video.